Hi guys. So as promised, I thought we'd go live today. I've got the camera turned around so I can't see it, who of you is, is coming in. In fact, I can't do that. We're going to have to turn around. I, I thought I'd do it the proper way around, but I can't. So here we go. Hold on. That's better, isn't it? So um, this is Siobhan. You met her a couple of weeks ago. And um, she won a package of four peels and four products. Is that right? Yes, that is right, isn't it? So when she first came in, we did a skin consultation, um, had a look at her skin, asked what her problems were, what her concerns were, and um, put together a treatment program for her. And she took away a cleanser, a hydration serum, a day moisturiser and sunscreen, and bright and clear solution. Yeah. Sorry, my brain went blank. Um, so, and on that day we did uh, an enzyme peel. So that was three weeks ago. So the enzyme peel is a very superficial peel that helps sort of general skin tone, hydration, makes your skin feel just gorgeous for a few days. And at the same time, Siobhan was able to then start on all the products that she won. And so today we thought we'd come back, see how she's been getting on. You might be able to see from there that her face is a bit green. So this is the enzyme peel again. So we're gonna do a two layer treatment today. We're gonna to do an enzyme peel. And then we're going to do um, a Radiant 30, so that's a lactic acid peel, very good for anti-aging and very good for pigmentation. Again, general skin health, it'll leave her feeling very hydrated, it's a really lovely treatment. Um, so what something um, Siobhan's already been telling me is how she's found particularly the moisture mat, so I'm going to ask her to tell you all about that first. So Siobhan, Tell yeah. us how your moisture mat's been going. Um, I've spent so much money over the years on different um, foundations and the moisture mat is it's just like magic. You need the tiniest amount and it, it, I, I, it's just amazing. It really, really is amazing. If, if you buy one product, I think that is... And it's so good. It's so important you protect your skin. And I honestly didn't realise the importance... Of protecting your skin even in the winter I just thought it was due to sun exposure but it, it, it's so much more than that so what do you find the moisture mat does to your skin how, how does it feel and what do you find what um, benefits I don't do you get? feel you know when you when you buy a foundation you buy either a matte foundation or a silky foundation to get that finish it, it, it doesn't feel heavy I feel like my skin looks um, hydrated it doesn't feel dull it doesn't feel over shiny and that is literally all I wear I, I just wear the moisture mat every day all day and you've also been using the um hydro boost cleanser the ultimate boost serum and the bright and clear solution yeah. how have you found the products as a whole love them all morning and night would never would never miss a routine and i think collectively they all work so well i love i love them all and what have you found in your skin so obviously you've had an enzyme peel and now three weeks of products and what have you found in the sort of condition of your skin in that time um for me i think it just looks so much brighter it, it's almost more awake uh, more hydrated it's not dull it just i'm not before i wouldn't really want to go out with no makeup on and it doesn't i, I would do that now it doesn't bother me because okay. because i just think it looks so much better it feels so much nicer and there is something to be said about going to bed once you feel like you've looked after your skin. Do you find you wake up with your skin feeling better in the morning? Oh gosh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the other thing I have recommended at some point for Siobhan um, that would be really useful is a retinol. And I know you hear me sort of going about retinols quite a lot. It's one of only two ingredients that you can legally say um, sort of reverses signs of ageing, sort of anti-ageing treatment. You, you can, it, because there is an awful lot of research behind both peptides and retinols. Um, and people often ask me, well, how do I know if it's a good one? Well, if you buy one from me, it'll be a good one. But generally, if you're looking for retinols, if it's cheap, it's probably cheap for a reason. Um, retinol can be quite an active ingredient, and you do run the risk of a retinol reaction if it's not used properly. And one of the reasons ours is so good and so effective is because it's micro-encapsulated. And what that means is the retinol isn't sort of dumped on your skin in one hit last thing at night. It is drip fed throughout the night, which means you're likely to absorb more of it and you're less likely to get that retinol reaction. It's also, it's not a retinol on its own. It also has hyaluronic acid. The more hydrated your skin is, the more effective a product's going to be. And it also has peptides. So we mentioned peptides being another ingredient that you can use the term, um, you know, anti-aging, reverse the signs of aging. 
Um, the Illumia has its own um, completely own protein, peptide protein um, makeup called, not, not as in, you know, it's a, a, I think the ingredient itself is called Matrixyl Synth 6, which is Illumia's own brand of peptide. And um, that is also, it kind of supercharges the retinol um, to get more active results. So if your retinol that you've bought off the shelf or off the internet is cheap, it's for a reason and you're not going to get the quality of ingredients that you get with the, the pro a product like Illumia. And, and you need, it certainly needs to be at least a cosmeceutical brand product, even if you don't buy it from me. But please don't buy them off the shelf, off the internet, without knowing exactly what it is you're getting. So what we're going to do today is we're going to leave the um, enzyme peel on for a few more minutes. And we were just talking about sort of the process here. So um, Shivanga is going to get four peels, which will take her quite a nice way into her skin feeling a lot better. Peels will help brighten the skin, reduces dead skin, ex exfoliates, and we, you'll also get better hydration of the skin, a better kind of appearance generally. You'll get that glowing texture, um, but you'll also get collagen stimulation. Now, peels stimulate type one collagen. We've got lots of different types of collagen. Um, but what we want ideally is the soft buttery translucent type of collagen that you see on children so when children's skin looks sort of buttery and soft and lovely it's because they've got lots of type 1 collagen collagen can take three months to start to show itself so from being the collagen induction process can take three months so that's why I quite often one of my hashtags that you'll see a lot is trust the process because this isn't magic. I mean, actually, you, your results over the last couple of weeks have been yeah, fantastic. Have been and, and people do tell me how fantastic the results are very, very quickly. But ultimately, when I'm looking from a more clinical and technical point of view, I'm looking at sort of three to six months and ahead for starting to get the results that people want, because that's how long it really takes to turn things around. So yes, you will get an immediate improvement. Things will feel better in the short term, but also um, you will get the longer term improvement with collagen production, and general improvement in your skin, you're starting to kickstart your skin's own skin cell turnover, so that starts to speed up, and so you're not relying quite so much on the, the power of the peels to encourage that skin cell turnover, it's starting to do it for itself, so your maintenance doesn't have to be too high. The further you go, the further apart you can have treatments moving forward, so that first three to six months is more intensive, with peels every sort of two to four weeks ideally, and then you drop back to four to six weeks, and then some people will continue having a peel every month, and that is in an ideal world what we do, or a treatment of some kind. If you're combining treatments, you might have a microneedling, then a peel, then a radiofrequency, then an IPL, or something like that, and just alternate a treatment a month. But ultimately, your skin will start to say, you'll know what your skin should feel like, you'll know if it's having a good skin day, or if it's starting to feel like it needs a peel or a treatment. And so, what we're gonna say, so we're looking at a three month treatment plan here, um, with Siobhan and with all the right products as well because the products are very important. If you notice all the case studies I'm doing recently, obviously the prize that Siobhan won, um, the products are so important. What you do at home is half of your result. Come in every three or four weeks and have a treatment and it'll be lovely, but you're not going to get the kind of results that we're looking for, that sort of long-term anti-aging, real sort of improvement in the skin. Hi Rick! Um, so it's really important that what you do at home matches what we're doing in the clinic. Um, I won't necessarily tell you to throw your products away and start again. It depends on what the skin concerns are. Um, if you've got rosacea, acne, or very strong pigmentation, I might look at products and go, that's not doing you any good at all. You need to swap that one out or you need to stop using that. If you've come in for general anti-aging and you've got a cleanser that you like, fine. Use that one up first, but replace it with this one afterwards and things like that. I, I think that that's why I've noticed such a massive difference because my routine before coming to you was nothing. I didn't really use anything. I used to wash my face and moisturise it, not with anything in particular. So I think the products are part and parcel of why it feels so good as well because I didn't. It's like a luxury, you know. I'm really looking after it. And yeah, and one thing I do, feel, I am able to tell is that when people come to me and you can see that they've generally got a good skincare routine, you can tell, even if the products aren't perhaps quite what I would want them yeah. to be. Um, so actually getting into a routine and getting used to looking after your skin is key and very important yeah. for sort of your future skin health. So, okay, so I think I've chatted for long enough. We're going to, I'm just going to lay her back down a little bit so I can reach. And then I think, I think we can still see, can't we? So... We're going to remove this peel now. 
This one's been on up to 10 minutes probably. Excuse me. Okay. So the enzyme peel is a really lovely, um, smells gorgeous, smells like being in a spa. Nice. <laughs> and it's the enzymes in um, the fruit acids literally nibble and munch all your dead skin cells and they're like little Pac-Men and remove all those dead skin cells and um, leave your skin feeling really bright and refreshed. We call this the red carpet peel. I would do this the day before somebody's wedding for example, if you had a big event to go to, leave your skin bright and fresh and hydrated and just feeling generally rather lovely. And so as a standalone treatment the enzyme peel is actually a really nice one to have. It's not a miracle worker on its own. I had somebody a few months ago phone me up and say, I've got a wedding this weekend. Can you make my lines and wrinkles disappear? And I'm <laughs> like, no, I can't. This isn't magic, I'm not Harry Potter. Um, and actually, you, it's a process, you need to invest in your skin. We don't do cosmetic surgery and that wouldn't have helped her anyway because she wanted one treatment to make all the lines and wrinkles go away and that just isn't gonna happen, that's unrealistic. So. It was better for me not to take her on because she would have been disappointed. It's about trusting the process, getting the right things in place and sticking with it for at least three to six months before you really get the, the best of the results. So, where's my bit of fragrance there? Here we go. So, Radiant 30, Lumia Peel, put it back to front for you guys. There we go. It's a lactic acid peel. So this, you'll have heard me say this before, this is Cleopatra's peel. Sorry, I'm just after a brush. Lactic acid is found in milk. Cleopatra used to bath in acid milk, so legend would have it. And she didn't know that's why she was doing it, but that's why she was doing it basically. Lactic acid is a great surface superficial peel. Very good for pigmentation and anti-aging. So you might feel a bit tingly. Not you yet. might not. <laughs> um, everybody feels them slightly differently. Close your eyes for me. Sorry, I'm not talking at the camera at the minute. I can't feel anything at the moment. It feels nice going on this one, doesn't it? It's warm, isn't it? It's quite. It's the um, enzyme peel is quite cooling when it first goes on. Okay. Did you find the enzyme peel warms up? It just feels a little bit tingly. Do you know where I can feel that the most on my little friend on on my chin? On your spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good because that will make it go. It will help make that go away. The enzyme peel will help that too. In fact, it's going down already. So this one we can kind of just spread all over the skin. This one we'll have, so we'll, we'll cut the live down in a minute because this one's going to have a good 10-15 minutes, so that would be dull for you to watch that. <laughs> but we will, I'm going to get um, Siobhan to do a little piece to camera later on, sort of telling us a bit before she's already told us about moisture mat and things, so I'm going to save that as a little video. Um, because it's one of those people like to know what other people think of stuff. So, how's that feeling? Feels fine, just feels nice. Feels quite oily. Yes, it goes on quite oily. Mm. So, right, I'm gonna leave Siobhan with that now. We're gonna keep taking pictures of her, see how fabulous okay. her skin looks over time. Thank you for joining us. We're gonna keep you posted with how she's doing and um, we'll catch up with you again later. See you later, bye.